Okay, my favorite part of astronomy is actually looking at the planets and the stars with my telescopes. And uh, I've always wanted to share this with people. So something that I've done is uh, started to use video cameras in the telescopes. Uh, here is one of my favorite targets, Jupiter. And I'm using an 8-inch telescope with a uh, what would be a hacked security camera. Uh, by hacked, I mean I've modified the circuitry and I've changed out, uh, t took out the infrared filter. And when I did all this stuff, by taking out the infrared filter, now I'm able to get these images of Jupiter and I can make them uh, either display on a small uh, LCD screen or I can record them like I've done with these. So I'm going to go through a couple images that I took of Jupiter. Uh, I usually try to keep the images short and then that way when I do another process with them uh, I can take this video that I've recorded which comprise of uh, most of the time it will comprise of 30 frames per second and I can take the individual frames out and stack them together and get, pull an image out of those frames and the image often comes out uh, exceptionally well. And hopefully these images will show you a little bit more of what I'm doing. So what I've done here is I've put the menu for the camera up and I'm changing the shutter speed. And by changing the shutter speed you can see that the image changes greatly. Here I've been able to get one of Jupiter's moons to appear by overexposing Jupiter. And the camera adjusts the shutter speed uh, it seemed like the best image I was getting was about a 1 20th of a second. So this setting here. And once I get that set up, then I have to go through a manual, uh, a menu process to get out of the camera. And then this would be the image that you would see. But since we were talking about Galileo, what I've done here is I've overexposed Jupiter itself so that you can see the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. And this is the way Galileo would have seen them. And this is what he used as evidence that uh, Copernicus's heliocentric system was the uh, true system instead of the system by Ptolemy which had the uh, earth at the center. So what I've done here is I've increased the uh, resolution that we see on Jupiter or the magnification by uh, changing the way the telescope was set up. and. Uh, with this magnification, sometimes you trade away a little bit of details. Usually it's the atmosphere that gives you your maximum magnification. But now the red spot is, seems to be pretty clear. And uh, you can see a little bit more detail in the cloud top. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to try to get a little bit better resolution out of it by adjusting the focus. So here I've adjusted the focus to the best that I thought I could get. And you can see a little bit more detail in the equatorial bands. You can uh, definitely see the, the red spot. And uh, you know, Jupiter is quite an impressive target to look at in the night sky. So I hope you've enjoyed these uh, images. I'm going to put up a little uh, video about some moonshots I took. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to take some more of these as we go through the course. And you'll get to see uh, some really cool sights. Thank you.